Welcome back to my YouTube channel Score and Shine. In this video, I will be teaching you about maize. All points regarding maize, which will be very useful for all agriculture competitive examination, will be dealt in this video. Now let's get into the video. As we all know, the scientific name of maize is Zia maize, and it belongs to the sorry, and it belongs to the family Poaceae, and it is called as the queen of cereals due to its highest yield and high production and its origin is from mexico and central america and it is non-tillerous plant where you can find no tillers in the plant and it is day neutral plant where an intermediate day length of nearly 12 to 14 hours is required for its growth and it is c4 plant and the germination you can find in the seeds of maize is hypogeal germination where the cotyledons of the maize remains inside the soil and it is cross pollinated crop and here comes the most important thing is monoecious monoecious in the sense the condition where the male part and the female part of the plant will be in two different places but in the same plant here the male part which is called as tassel is present here and the female part which is called as cob is present here the process or time duration or the time in which the male part forms or comes out is called as the tazzling and the time duration and the forming of female part is called as the silking and the next thing is silk silk is this this one in this picture you can see the silk the style in the female part of the cob of maize protrudes outwards and it is long and it forms the hairy outdoor like structure and this is called as the silk and here comes the another most important thing is protoandry. Maize is protoandrous in nature where the male part matures first and here the male part is tassel and it matures first and it forms first and hence it is protoandrous and you can find three types of roots in maize one is brace or prop roots and next is crown roots and next is the seminal roots. Prop roots you can see here which is present above the soil and next is crown roots and seminal roots in this picture you can see the crown roots which is here thick which is first but it is below the soil which is first below the soil is called as the crown roots and the seminal roots which is present below the crown roots is called as the seminal roots the seminal roots nourishes the seedlings of the maize and i'll repeat it again seminal roots nourishes the seedlings of the maize and this is prop roots and seminal roots is below and above that this thick thickened roots is called as the crown roots okay when while well, coming on to the content which is present in the maize 70 percent of carbohydrates 8 to 10 percent of protein maize protein is called as zay and it also contains 4 to 5 percent of oil okay here comes the different types of corn which is based on the endosperm nature which has been classified based on the endosperm nature and the first thing is flint corn flint corn is called as zia maize indurata here comes the tip for you to remember here flint you can find iron and in indurata you can find iron and it is mostly grown in india in india also you can start seeing with iron india starts with iron so here is the tip to remember flint corn zia maize indurata and it is grown mostly in india next dent corn dent corn is called as zia maize indenta you can find dent here indenta it is grown in usa mostly it is grown in usa the shape of the corn is like tooth and hence it is named as dent corn and sweet corn is zia maize saccharata and flour corn is zia maize amylaceae and popcorn which is mostly used for preparing popcorn and cornflakes and all which is very popular that is zia maize evarta and waxy corn zia maize seratina and pod corn which is primitive and husked and it is not much important it is zia maize zunicata this all corns are based on the nature of the endosperm and classified based on the nature of the endosperm and here comes the seed rate for the composite variety the seed rate is 15 to 20 kg per hectare and for hybrid it is 20 to 25 kg per hectare and for fodder maize if you're going for maize for fodder purpose the seed rate is 40 to 50 kg of per hectare is required suitable temperature for germination for germination the suitable temperature is 21 degrees celsius the optimum temperature for maize to grow is 30 to 35 degrees celsius spacing spacing for irrigated maize is 60 into 25 centimeter and for rain fed condition 45 into 20 centimeter this is the spacing and 
irrigation water requirement of 500 to 800 mm for its growth is needed and critical stages for irrigation is tasseling and silking this critical stages is also for nutrient requirement also and maize is sensitive to water logging while coming on to yield for composite variety you can yield up to 40 to 50 quintals per hectare for hybrid it is 50 to 60 quintals per hectare and for fodder maize 300 to 40 quintals per hectare is produced out and you can find yellow color in maize this yellow color in maize is due to the presence of cryptoxanthin and the most important thing here comes quality protein maize usually cereals are deficient in lysine and tryptophan so in that case to enrich to rich maize with lysine and tryptophan they had introduced opaque 2 gene by using this opaque 2 gene they have introduced lysine and tryptophan rich maize varieties shaktiman 1 and shaktiman 2 and high quality protein maize 1 due to the enrichment of lysine and tryptophan in the maize they have named it as quality protein maize and they have released the varieties okay that's all for today thank you so much for watching my video do like share and subscribe and comment if if i have missed any point which is very important for the competitive exams and if you're watching for the first time do subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon too join my telegram channel score and shine the link of the telegram channel will be in the description go check it out and you will have daily quiz related to agriculture at 8 30 pm live you can attend there and today quiz is all about maize so watch this video and attend the quiz thank you so much thanks for watching with this video thank you